Why does pre-renal failure give you a high BUN to creatinine ratio? This mechanism is guaranteed to be asked on the USMLE. So let's break it down. Let me first start with this question to you. What is pre-renal failure at its core? Well, it is low blood flow to the kidneys, which can be precipitated by hypovolemia, heart failure, or anything that drops perfusion. So what does the kidney do when blood flow drops? Well, it panics and tries to save volume. How does it do that? By reabsorbing sodium and water in the proximal tubule. Now, here's the important part. BUN follows water, but creatinine does not. So when the kidney pulls back a ton of water, it also pulls back a lot of blood urea nitrogen. But creatinine stays in the filtrate because creatinine is not reabsorbed. So BUN shoots up while creatinine only rises a little. The ratio goes high, which is about 20 is to 1 or more. That's the USMLE cutoff for pre-renal failure. This is why a high BUN to creatinine ratio means volume loss, not intrinsic kidney damage or post-renal damage. In intrinsic kidney renal injury or post-renal injury, the tubules get damaged, so they can't reabsorb anything. So the ratio stays close to 10 to 1.